Hello and welcome to Nahel Books Dungeon Master demo. Welcome to our new steward. Your mission is to obey my orders and satisfy my needs on the spot. The trial period is short. This is no summer internship for pimply faced students. It's real evil dungeon. And now, back to work. Zangdar, the master. I'm. Okay. I must admit that I really like the original dungeon of the Hell Book game. And this is why. This is what brought me here. Because this is entirely different playstyle. As far as I. I'm, as far as I understand, we'll be building ourselves a dungeon here, instead of exploring one. For decades, the dungeon of Naubuk has been one of the crown jewels of the Lands of Fang. funny. I never heard of it when I was studying for my Bitter Warlock Sidekick certification. Um, public relations are tough for independent dungeons. Oh, aren't you affiliated with the Dungeons Fund? With those unscrupulous parasites? Never. <clears throat> but we do have the most insidious traps, the most cunning guards, the most dreadful monsters, and the most remarkable treasures. How delightful! May I look around? No, uh, we, we've we been renovating. The paint's still wet. Ah, oh, too bad. Despite our reputation being well established, I've decided that this dungeon needs to take things to the next level. Yes, yes, the ad made that very clear. And I need more time for my magical research. Certainly. So... About my compensation, I... <coughs> well, let's not quibble over trifles. I'm aligned with industry norms. Not to mention there's the gratification of joining a renowned wizard. Yes, of course. May I meet the other members of the team? Well, actually, not today. They're attending a seminar for process uh, improvement. You know what I mean. Process? The clock is ticking, and you're not the only applicant. What's your decision? This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. I'm interested. Not like I have a choice anyway. No one's hiring half-goblins. There's too much discrimination in this sector. All right, I'm in. Perfect, perfect. You made the right choice. And now? Yes? Get to work, you wretch! I don't pay people to stand around. Uh, all right, oh, let's sorry. see. Where is the dungeon staff? What state are the premises in? I'll have a look around the property. <laughs> I wonder if signing this contract was such a good idea. Well, it's too late now. So, we can move around. Or with arrows. Can take the camera, of course. Zoom in or out. Welcome to the dungeon of the Hillbook. The dungeon has been in poor state for too long. Your mission is to restore it. In other words, make it profitable. As you can see, in uh, reputation, its reputation is currently at 1, which is really bad. Your goal is to improve it and make it the most feared and attractive dungeon in the lands of Fang. Okay, Zangdar. Yes. This is Zangdar, the master of the dungeon. When his patients go through your zero, it's game over. Uh, Rivax, where is he? Here he is. Yes? Meet Rivax, the new dungeon steward. In other words, the head stooge. We have a minion? We have minion. Huh? Minions have an origin. Human, a profession, cook, a rank, eight, and a salary, plenty. Rank one minions, the interns come at no cost. As for the prestige required, we'll cover it later. A minion gains experience by working their way up the ranks. The higher the rank, the more effective they are, the less often they fail accomplishing their tasks. If the lands of, in the land of Fang, the unit of time is the 10-day week, the circle gradually fills up over time. Every 10-day week, all minions receive their salary, is the orange number. 
Minions die when they run out of health and resign when the moral hits rock bottom. Each minion has specific needs. If these needs aren't met, health and morale meters will decline. Master, if I may, isn't it a bit strange for an evil dungeon to have its tavern open to the public? Ah, yes, well, it's a convenient way to make some money. But I'm not very good at managing it. I see. Well, it could prove to be useful. It could. So, have you finished your little tour? You must be in awe of the grandeur of this place. Uh, yes, I... well, this dungeon is rather... unique, that's for sure. But, say, uh, how often do you come by the staff area? Never. I'm a warlock, not a stable boy. All right, that's enough talk. Okay, as you wish. We'll never note. be able to retain our staff with such rundown premises, Master. I have no money to spend on a luxury lounge for my lazy servants. Oh, but it's a matter of standards. Take the Temple of Wismo, for example. They have 18 toilets just for the servants. What? Those frauds. Uh, well, do what you must, but don't go overboard. We're not running a hotel. Let's see. We won't get anywhere without bathrooms, for starters. Chamber pots and manure heaps are so last century. Okay, let's go into building menu. Shower room. Uh, trace the walls on the floor, but where the cost of a room increases with its size. Mm -mm -mm. Is there any necessity that we need to place two latrines? Um, select latrines. Validate room. Time can they stop it or speed up? Speed up construction of shower room to get it done faster. Makes sense. Oh, my sweet little minions, work for me. Perfect! We now have a decent bathroom! Now, dormitories with beds. The Gali Notif keeps track of important events in dungeon. Check it out for more information. I don't pay you to nap. Okay. Speaking of payment... Later, later. Super busy, magical research and all that. I think I'll have to put a little slush fund aside. Okay, I don't think this. Yep. Can I rotate it? Yes, I can. Okay. Cut it from. Continue at the fastest pace. I'm not usually fond of dungeons builders. But maybe this one will be the one. Master, the living quarters improvements are complete. Uh, not bad, but very expensive. We'll have to find some more money. If I'd wanted to go bankrupt, I'd have hired an interior designer. I hear you, but given the state of the dungeon, I'm not sure how we could defeat a party of adventurers, even beginners. If we're not up to snuff, it'll be your fault, entirely. But I just got here and, well, I do serve an evil wizard, not a charity. Hmm. We have to develop this tavern to bring in some income. The old tavern keeper is gone. Yet another ungrateful coward. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've got better things to do. I must focus on my magical research and developing my management skills. I can handle it. So let's see. We need tables for customers. Equipment for serving food and drinks. In the meantime, I shall subscribe to a few periodical publications about evil dungeon management. We need to get this up to date. 
I wonder if he knows what he is doing. Nope. Don't you overspend. We want to extort gold from the poor, not waste our money on furniture for drunkards. Okay. The tavern attracts customers looking to spend their gold. Each item in the tavern has a maintenance cost that is automatically deducted at the beginning of every 10-day week, just like wages. The sum in orange includes salaries and tavern's maintenance cost. The number of customers depends on the size of the tavern and the number of seats. Uh, so the edit tool. Cool. Mm -mm -mm. Modify the tavern to accommodate six, six additional customers. Uh, accommodates up to six customers, cannot be used by dwarves. Let's put it like this, it should be fine. Minions! There! Table and sideboard. This should be enough to lure in a few dupes. I hired an evil dungeon steward, not a lunch lady. Indeed, master. But we need some revenue. Look, all these customers should earn us some gold. Hopefully they will. Orlov for debrief, master. Hey, what's with this dull-looking goblin? Half goblin? Who is this brute? He is the dungeon sword master and guard commander. So, are you back from the retaliatory raid? Affirmative. We made it to target location, the so-called Temple of Wismo. Enemy ambush fighting. 100% loss rate on our side. Debrief over. What? You turkeys! I was injured six times myself. We were expected. I am the guard commander, not a marauder. This requires specific operational preparation. Clearly. This doesn't speak highly about your abilities. Who asked you, you withered piece of lettuce? Silence, you two! Remax is our new steward. As for you, Orloff, maybe I should get a new swordmaster. Maybe you should. Certainly, sir. But I'll complain to the Guild of Mercenaries and Dungeon Guards. This wasn't in my job description. <sighs> Cursed me the bowels of the great Talifern. I'm so sick of these union demands. Beat it, both of you. I'm going back to my research. Hmm. I think we'd better try to collaborate. In our mutual interest, sword master. Yeah. Affirmative. For now, you little... I mean, yes, steward. Thank you. This failed raid explains why this dungeon is so badly guarded. Anyone can just waltz in. If we want to get rid of adventurers, we should deal with slackers first. I wish they'll change it that so you don't have to click next each Affirmative. time. Affirmative. The downsizing caused by the incursion attempt on the Temple of Wismal is weighing on staff rotation. We must recruit new elite guards. Guards are expensive. I read in Dungeons and Despots. That support role should be outsourced as part of a uh, atomized management of the company's processes. He has no idea what he's talking about. And I can do space for that. Don't so. you mean optimized, Master? Silence! You know nothing of modern dungeon management vocabulary. As for you, improve the guard, but with no superfluous expenses. We could hire a few interns. They shouldn't cost us much. We'd just have to think about feeding them from time to time. Hmm. Affirmative. That's it for now. I'll bring them up to speed. Trust me on that. Attention! At ease. The guard room is vital to the dungeon's defense. Place it near the dungeon's entrance. Okay. Uh, guard room. Where's the entrance? It's over here. So let's put it like... Let's see. Uh, let's do it like... Like this for now. And sort your locker. How many? Four. Uh, 
No, oh, and it will have two stars. Oh, little duckies. Okay, anything else? We'll have a debrief after our patrol. Okay, so we have multiple floors. Each locker automatically recruits one or more guards. They go about their business until the alarm goes off. When it does, they automatically go into battle. Beware, each locker increases the population of the dungeon. The number of guards in the dungeon is always split. Ah, the first interns have arrived. Soldiers, attention! Line up in pairs in the front rank. I only want to see one head. Intruders are exploring the dungeon. Where? Oh, those. I think. It's hard to tell. Mm. Yes? You are the guard. They have their own lines, okay. I'm curious to see how he goes about training them. Ideally, we should find a pile of dirt and make them dig a hole to bury him. But, but that's absurd. Negative. This is training through blind obedience. To think is to disobey. Come on, on the double, rookies. Hop two, hop two, hop two. What? Oh, uh, my chest. Quit. Where are you going? Why are you, why are you going to the warlock? A strike. Okay. Relax. Why are my minions so agitated? I can't focus in such a ruckus. One of the servants is on strike, master. He's protesting against his working conditions. I could send the guards to slaughter this slacker. Civilians are so entitled. I'm not sure that's the best approach for retaining competent staff, Master. We must listen to his demands and fulfill them, if they're legitimate. I don't care about the specifics. I just need this rocket silenced. Deal with it, or you'll get the whip! Incidentally, there's an article in Dungeons and Despots about the psychological torture of middle management minions. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's like the yes, minion. Sir. At the beginning of each 10-day period, strikes can break out in dungeon with potentially disastrous consequences. Strikes have the effect of stressing Zangdar and decreasing the dungeon's reputation. The displaced meter indicates the time remaining before the minion abandons the strike. If this happens, their morale is severely reduced. The strikers union always displays their demands, meet their demands to end the strike. Wants to work with his pet chicken, wants to work six days a uh, ten day period, wants dental cover, wants five ten days periods of a year, wants a pay raise, wants a coffee break, wants to be able to drink at work. Pfft. You know what? Forget it. Their demands are unattainable for now. Just get rid of this ingrate f by firing them. However, firing a minion costs gold. The amount depends on the rank. Yes. Out with the striker! It'll make an example of him. Still, I should try to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's done, Master. Everything is back to normal. The strike is over. About time. Let's move on. I've just been informed that the Temple of Wismo has increased its reputation, while we've been sitting on our haunches whistling nursery rhymes. Sorry. <laughs> we should limit the risk of strikes. The dungeon won't be able to repel adventurers with disgruntled minions. Affirmative. To smash those little snoopers, you need motivated, and therefore well-fed, guards. These matters are unworthy of a high-level wizard. They're better suited for intern. Wizard, not a warlock. Sorry. Of course, master. I'll see what I can come up with. But we'll need a cook. As long as they're not too expensive and can cook sumptuous meals. Bear and beer stew, for example. It's also necessary to adapt the food to each species. If we serve elfish fare to goblins, they'll start eating the elves too. 
Okay, let's build Wavex office. Uh, place desk of inhuman resources. Let's see. How big do you need? To? And the desk. I mean, it's enough for you for now. We don't have gold to spare. Real lenses. This I managed to get almost up to three stars. Ah, okay. I'm just checking how it would work. Fans statue of Zangdar. <laughs> Also, there was a time that I was playing Two Point Hospital. Not a lot of time, but some. To review the profiles of potential recruits, click on the Jobs tab and then Recruitment. Uh, select the or cook to review his resume. Adventurers gouged out my eye. I'll work for anyone who wants to cause them harm. I can also make sandwiches. Good enough. Hey, it was supposed to be an orc. This is a peony human. Who are you? Ahoy! I heard you're looking for a cook? Yes. Well, yes, but I just hired one. An orc cook. It's the best I could afford. Are you qualified? I sure am. I've been a cook, a barber, adventurer, surgeon, executioner and embalmer i can peel and bone like nobody's business mel boots here to serve you with a preference for ale anyway do you have someone for your tavern well actually we don't it is true we could use a good tavern keeper but my budget's a bit tight i'll skim my pay off the take come on you won't regret it I'll turn it into a first-class boozing den. All of Fang will come here to get hammered. Just gotta keep the dishes real salty. Gotcha. Relocating towards the bar. March. Hop two. Hop two. Click an orc me to review his information. If only I could find him. Oh, him. Click on the navigation to display the second page. The mini surgeon determines their special traits and behaviors. Orgs, for example, are carnivorous, which means your kitchens must produce meat dishes. A carving board. Carving board. Doesn't matter where I put it. I think it does. Your minions have to eat standing up in the kitchen, which reduces their morale. You can build a canteen to allow them to eat sitting down, thus boosting their morale. Okay. Master, we have significantly improved the minions' living conditions, and for cheap too. And we'll serve them good. Cheap plunk, hard ale, and sausage that'll dry out your gullet. What? Who is this individual? It's, um, Mel, the new tavern keeper. I'll explain. Ugh, my patience is running thin. We spend too much on nonsense here, and our reputation is stagnating. Okay, uh... Or is it in rooms? Uh, kitchen, shower room, guard room, canteen, okay. We have doors here, we have doors here. Maybe we should build it somewhere. Over here. Like so. Not like this. But to incorporate the walls. Oh. <laughs> 
I mean, I have dice for eight for now. Hey, uh, no offense, but your dungeon's got quite a stench, don't you think? Reeks like a bunch of dead rats. What? No, it doesn't. We just cleaned the mess and fired the slackers. Just saying, but this morning I saw a cockroach so grossed out it puked. Mind you, I'm not the kind to wash the mugs every day or to take more than one bath a month, but hey, there are limits to filth. Hmm, it is true that to attract a certain class of customers or servants, we'll need to raise our standards. Cleaning, improving sanitary facilities, and hiring decent domestics. Yep, exactly. Elves will do the trick. I know there are a bunch of lettuce munchers who think they're hot dung, but they don't mess around with cleanliness. Hire an elf servant. Priano Tantonelletia. Elves have special needs too. Vegetarian. Ingenious. Okay. Reminder information on the origins can be found on the minion's profile. Minion's profile. By the way, let's see. Sexual room to use information. Uh, room items for this dirt, as do the minions when they move around. Depending on their origin or traits, good or bad hygiene affects the morale of minions. This button indicates to the servants when their room should be cleaned regularly. It's definitely this one. Shower. Let's put some showers in here as well. And the kitchen uh, increases the store of each type book in progress. And okay, okay. Okay, uh, let's speed things up. Oh, but what might this object in the shower be? A faucet? I see! Fascinating! Place one vegetable. Oops, not this one. Vegetable bean in the kitchen. There you go. It's a shame that we couldn't do this simultaneously, but you know. There, some vegetables to cook. Yep, that's elves for you. Well, at least apples and turnips are cheap. Mm, at least. Rebax! The Temple of Wismo had marble columns installed. I just saw the etchings in the Dungeons and Despots magazine. Oh, not again with that rag. We need to revamp my dungeon's decor. This is an essential aspect of the, uh, the prolificacy of this organization's processes. Productivity, Master? But you said we don't have the funds to... Just make some improvements, or I'll turn you into a flower pot. And stop contradicting my managerial guidelines. Or you'll get your termination notice from Orlov's crossbow! Decorations uh, to increase prestige of the rooms and thus the dungeon's reputation. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about one of those. Uh, can I check, like, for particular room? Yes, I can, like... No, not this one. Uh, wait, can I add this? No. I hope it will work. I'm way overthinking this. Way too much. Okay. Place 10 decorations. This one. 
flower pot. <laughs> do you guys want the flower pot in the middle of here? Sure. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Decorations, decorations. Oh, this is too pretty for you. Okay. Maybe some benches. One, two, three, four, two, four, five. I think we'll need one more. Interesting flower pot. Flower pots are always great. If you need to go to the toilet, go there. Done, Master. We've installed some marble columns, braziers, and flower pots. No ah, I'm quite pleased with my choice of decor. I shall write to the Dungeon Orders Association of Fang to share my creative insight. I hope this won't get us into trouble. Yeah, it will get us into trouble. Hello, I'm looking for the master of the dungeon of Nahulbuk. Well, I am his steward. How may I help you? I'm here about the letter he sent to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang. Are you going to publish his article on interior decoration? I don't know. This is a matter for the DOAF Gazette Editorial Board. I am Doris Martadella, Head Inspector of the Dungeons Fund. I'm here for your membership application. What? The DF? But, uh, we didn't apply for membership. There must be some mistake. Your master wrote to the DOAF. According to DOAF regulations, any such communication is to be considered as a membership application to its parent company, the Dungeons Fund, unless expressly stated otherwise. But that's... Uh, oh, puss and boils! This is utter nonsense! What if we refuse to join? That is your right. In accordance with the DF regulations, as ratified through case law by all courts in the lands of Fang, we would be entitled to a compensation of 200,000 gold coins. 200... what? That's racketeering! It'd be easier to join the DF like most proper dungeons. I will have your master sign the documents. A measly 412 scrolls for a small dungeon like yours. Pox and mutant rats! Remax! In my office! Immediately! Oh no. But that concludes the Naho Books Dungeon Master demo. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!